Today we're here in Sonora, California with Tim England from the California Alliance for Community Composting. And uh, Tim, you want to tell us a bit about this site, why they are using a vermicomposting system, why they chose ours, um, how they feed it, what they do with the castings, all that stuff? Yeah, for sure. So this location actually has a nursery adjacent to it. Um, they're making their own compost already and they wanted a way to diversify some of their streams. So what they decided to do was get a nice little vermiflow bin. Um, the CFT was really like attainable price wise. So that was nice for them. Um, and they're basically feeding their pre-composted material into the CFT bin. Um, and then they'll harvest out the worm castings. And then that product will now become essentially a new um, sales revenue generator for their nursery center. Do they use the castings in the, the nursery as well? Is so it pot stuff? They haven't started propagating their own stuff here yet, okay. um, but it's definitely part of the plan. So how often would you say they are, they're feeding the material to the worms? Um, the material, I mean, they, the schedule that they're working on is a weekly schedule. So okay. once a week, they add in material, um, just enough to keep the bin running and they'll harvest out in the same way too. Yeah. Would they have any trouble keeping the right moisture level not in this location. So they, they put it here um, under the shade structure. Um, they tarp it. Uh, the site operator is really, really skilled. Uh, so they know essentially how much moisture content that it has by just doing the old squeeze test, you know. So they, they, they're doing a really good job with moisture. Um, the bin's been great about pulling it in here. Um, the harvesting mechanism's really smooth on this. So it's been working out pretty well. There's uh, quite a bit of larger wood chips in the material here. Do they sift the castings then for uh, before for sales? Yeah, yeah. So they'll run it through a finer screen um, at the final the finish. Um, they basically just keep the, the larger wood chips in here to just make sure there's enough airflow and carbon material for the worms to keep going. Um, you know, by using the pre-composted material, it's already blended um, yeah. with, with a good air porosity um, and a good ratio. So they don't have to worry too much about adding like supplemental feed stocks into the worm bin uh, to balance it out. That's a pretty impressive operation here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, it's just that it's a uh, it's startup point, but it, it'll be great once uh, once they're in it full tilt. Well, 